installment of this video series. This episode is geared towards users interested in configuring IBM App Connect Enterprise to route messages from one location to another, in our case, IBM MQQs. If you watched the previous videos, you recall this topology diagram. You saw us configure a data power gateway and then configure API Connect to send a request to the gateway. Today, we're focusing on the bottom section of that topology diagram. Specifically, we'll configure App Connect Enterprise, also referred to as ACE, with IBM MQ. We're going to build an MQ queue manager with two queues, an in queue and an out queue, and then use an App Connect Enterprise application to automatically sense and move messages from one queue to the other. It's a very basic application with widespread implementations. By now, you should have already installed the Cloud Pack for Integration and App Connect Enterprise. If not, you can go back and review the video on how to do that. The overall process that we are following in this video is described in the ACE documentation, shown here. To make things easier, the tutorial includes a set of assets that you can download and extract including an ACE bar file with a basic IBM MQ integration and a set of configuration files for setting up the system. We're not going to teach you how to build a bar file here, but you can unzip it and read more about how to build one in the ACE documentation. You will also use a YAML file to create an instance of the MQ queue manager and set up two queues. After unzipping the downloaded file, everything is available inside the cp4i-ace-mq folder. Before we start, you need to run the prepare and upload configuration shell script, which uploads certificates, creates the secrets, policies, and configuration files for ACE and MQ. Log in to your OpenShift cluster from the command line. Ensure you're in the project where CloudPack for integration is installed and run the script. We also need to create two secrets that are required by the MQ queue manager to communicate with the ACE integration server that we will configure later. The secrets use certificates from the downloaded assets. Navigate to the queue manager certs folder and run these two commands. We start by simply applying the queue manager MTL SQM YAML file from the downloaded assets to our project. Replace both occurrences of project in the file with the name of the project where your Cloud Pack for integration is installed. Then apply the YAML file from the command line. We need to wait a few minutes while it deploys an instance of the queue manager. Let's go see what it did. If you log into the platform navigator and select integration runtimes, you can see the MQ instance that was created. If you click on that instance, then click on Manage, you can see the MTL SQM queue manager and the in and out queues that were created for you. Next, we'll configure the ACE application. We'll create the ACE integration server and configure it to connect to IBM MQ. Back in the Platform Navigator, click Integration Capabilities and then click the ACE dashboard. On the Servers page, click Create a Server. Choose Quick Start Toolkit Integration as the type of integration and click Next. Provide mqtest.bar as the bar file that you want to deploy and click Next. On the Configurations page, select each of the configurations and click Create. These configurations were created for you when you ran the Prepare and Upload Configuration shell script. Give the integration server the name mqtest and click Create. The integration server should start and be ready to handle messages. You might need to refresh the page to see the ready state on the integration server's tile. That's it. Let's test our configuration. We'll go back to the MQ dashboard and create a message on the NQ. Watch how our ACE application detects the message and immediately moves it to the out queue.
And there you have it, a simple integration of an App Connect enterprise application with MQQ Manager. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it useful.